morning everyone I got a special treat for you today we gotta move these three big crate myrtles you see right here and they're going up there beside that driveway right there what I gotta do is dig these jokers out I'm gonna dig, leave enough of a root ball, try and get as much of the drip line as I can. It's gonna be kind of hard as close as they are to this building, as close as they are. I'm gonna stage them right here. And he wants them evenly spaced along the edge of this drive. Part of it is going to use for his Christmas decorations, but he also wants to make this drive look better. We're going to use that excavator right there to do it. Um, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this step by step. So, let's get at it. Okay, so I've gotten two of the trees planted so far. You see what I've done? I've dug my holes and I'm using a strap to stand the plants up and using the excavator to set them. I mean, you can see the sheer size of these plants compared to that excavator there. That's a three and a half ton mini excavator. Um, these root balls are about three and a half, four foot in diameter. You can see the hole right there. Uh, I'll show you how I did it. I had to be so gentle I couldn't do the video while running the machine I would have loved to have done that but just I could not do it for this uh, here's where they came out so here's one of the root balls and you can see I've gotten quite a bit and I got to hurry up they're starting to dry out this is the last one but you can see I've gotten most of the uh, the feeder roots which is the most important part but you can see I dug around I dug around the side of it came out about six foot that's as far as I get with this building and everything and then got deep underneath the the root ball and gently very gently came on both sides all the way around and rocked that plant up the idea was to get as much of the roots as possible and get as much of these feeder roots as I possibly can in those plants. And then I come and I grab as gentle as I can at these stalks with the excavator, because these things are too heavy to move by hand. I mean, two men couldn't move these plants. You know, they're about 10, 15 feet tall. <clears throat> but the other thing to bear in mind is, and I will show you this, The depth of the hole must be identical to the depth of the hole they came out. You cannot place them any shallower or any deeper. If you look, you can see my field matches where I put my root hole. Now, here's a very important thing I just saw, and I will have to go back and check it. You see this right here? That can't happen. Dirt has to be packed down so that there's no air in those roots. I will actually take water and saturate these things to make sure of that if you noticed here there's a little bit of damage to the trunks nothing major this doesn't bother me they will heal yeah I would always have to point them out I will have to cut one one stem on this one I broke it that was because it was right up against the building there was nothing I could do about that so I will come in and literally cut this guy right here but other than that we have a good healthy sized set of trees there will be one more right there so when I'm done I'll make another video and we'll put all this together and you can see how it all looks and hopefully in the springtime I'll do another video and show pretty crepe myrtles here. 